I set some goals for myself on like the camping compass and I've met all of them and actually exceeded some of them. So like, you know, CPMs and click through rates are better than I had even anticipated. I met all of like the KPIs that I'd set, like, um, the level of organization in detail is like, is just honestly like the best part of it because I wouldn't have been able to I don't even know if I would have been able to come up with like the campaign compass, for example, like even thinking about some of those metrics. Um, and so that kind of clarity is really um, honestly like a sigh of relief because at least like I know, I know what's going on. I know what's happening. Like I know what levers I have to like pull or what I need to work on in my business to make things better. <laughs> so like the most stressful thing is like things aren't good, but me not knowing what to do about it. And so I think the level of clarity that this whole thing has given me has been like really priceless, honestly. Conversion rates are like at 7%, um, you know? And so it's like, it's pretty good in terms of like what I, I was, you know, exceeded sort of like what I had established for myself. I was expecting just like a conversion rate of like 5%. And so, um, yeah, so it was just, it's been nice to see kind of, um, how it's how it's been working. <laughs> We're a publishing company, children's book publishing company, so we um, publish children's books. Um, and I started this last year. Um, the inspiration behind it was really because I became a parent myself. Um, so I have two little boys, and when I was reading, you know, tons and tons of books with my kids, um, I noticed that there just weren't a lot of books with characters that looked like them, you know. And then I started to try and find more um, books with Asian American characters in them. And as I kind of went down that, that path, I noticed there was a huge issue with diversity and inclusion in the publishing industry. And there are sort of more systemic reasons uh, as, as to why that, that is. Um, and it really, I saw an opportunity to do something really different in making inclusive children's books. Um, featuring, you know, subjects and topics that are commonly underrepresented. I think the tactical maneuver hell thing was just like 100% is sort of where I was at before I started this. I was like trying anything and everything to get sales up. And it seemed like uh, everything I did just had its own sort of, you know, um, kind of system that I had to learn and, and and trying to figure out like, oh, I have to post more organic social media, you know, social media. And like that, I just didn't see anything from that growth was so, you know, slow on there. Um, and then like PR, PR is so expensive. And then we'd get a hit and then you'd get a bump in sales and then it'd go back down again. So nothing ever seemed like really sustainable. And I was like, well, you know, doing paid ads on Facebook seemed really daunting. Um, cause I had tried doing that. Um, but I had no clear direction. And so I tried to teach myself. I tried to like do research online and looked at other courses and I, it felt, um, it just didn't feel like a full picture in terms of, you know, how I can really do this sustainably. So yeah, that's where that's, those were the issues that I was primarily facing is just like, how do I make this into like a sustainable, um, <laughs> business and, and, you know, profitable business where I can actually, um, not have to try to feel like I'm constantly testing and just like swimming in five different directions, trying to figure out, you know, how to make this business work. It felt so overwhelming to be honest, because it's just like, you could be doing a thousand things, right? Like any one person, but of course it's like a small business. It's just me, you know, I'm wearing 50 different hats. And so my to-do lists were just, I mean, they still, there's still always so much to do, but I feel like um, I had no way of like prioritizing what was important because I had no way of understanding sort of what was would be like driving sales <laughs> you know that was like my main thing right I just need to sell books so um um you know I it just felt like I would p be p ping ponging like is a good term I would just work on this task for a while because someone you know said that I should be doing this and then I would do this you know other task and it just felt very um um, unproductive, like at the end of the day. And I, I knew that, but I just didn't know what else to do. Cause it was like, I had no real kind of guidance or direction. I basically just Googled like, you know, how to Facebook ads. And it was just like YouTube video after YouTube video. And I was just like, and everyone's talking right. in like these different terms. And I have no idea what they're talking about. They're like ROAS. I'm like, what is that? You know, I don't come from a marketing background. And so it was all very confusing. Um, felt like just going, it just, 
it was hard to get my head wrapped around any of that. And then um, a friend sort of told me uh, told me about Marketer Hire, which is um, kind of like a freelance agency that you know has freelance marketing professionals and and you can hire them sort of sort of on like a freelance basis. So I thought, okay, well maybe I can I need some help, you know, from someone who's like done this. Um, and their fees were fine, and you know you're you're paying it's you know for their for their labor and. I don't, you know, he, he was fine. It just, it just felt like, um, I had no idea, like kind of, you know, the daily, co the compass that you have, like the campaign compass, like it wasn't like that. Right. Because for him, his only slice of it was just the marketing piece. It's not like he was like, kind of had this big scope of, um, how that worked and tied into the, the business overall. So, um, I hired him to help me for like a month. I told, you know, when I mentioned when I started ads and it just cost so much money and I, freaked out so much being like, wow, our, you know, numbers or sales wise are so low that it just, I kind of just put a freeze on it. So those are the things that I used to try and figure out, you know, this whole thing called Facebook ads, this looked like how to run them. So, um, yeah, the, the guy who we hired was, I'm sure would have been fine for a bigger company or maybe with some, you know, if I had an idea of kind of what was going on, but he would give us reports and I wouldn't know have any context as for like what the numbers even meant. So I had no context as to like, is this good? Is this bad? Is this, you know, it seems like we're spending a lot of money, but um, yeah, no way to contextualize like what he was doing. And I think like first and foremost, I needed to learn like myself, you know, to even in the future, even give anyone direction. You know, we talked, we, we would talk occasionally, like, you know, once a week and stuff, but not at all to the level of like what, like the exercises that you guys had. I mean, he, at one point I even was like, so are you going to like write the copy or am I? Cause like, I know the business, you know, it was just kind of odd that someone who doesn't even know what the business is, is like writing ad copy. So I even had that question. I was like, are you writing it? Am I supposed to like review it? I don't know. I'm like, am I supposed to review it or something? So um, yeah, even down to that, like even detail, it seemed um, uh, it was all out of my hands which I guess is his job. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I think I needed to know that because it, it was, it's so important, you know? It's so comprehensive. Like, I mean, I think everything else was just, here's how to navigate Facebook ads. Here's how you like run ads and here, you know, it didn't go sort of beyond um, into like even calculating what your cost of goods are and like kind of the bigger picture. And so I think that's probably my guess as to why this, really was like, oh, okay, I can see the full picture, you know? And so finally being able to like put it into action, like hitting publish on the ads and sort of saying, okay, well, you know, all of this time and energy sort of spent on really trying to understand this, um, like we'll see, you know? So it felt, it felt really great to just be like, oh, okay. I like set out a number for myself, like a goal and I'm like meeting it. So <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't always happen that way. You know, like we write all these like laundry lists of things to do and like metrics that you want to meet. And um, sometimes it just feels like, okay, you, just a wish and a prayer and like, hopefully we'll get there. But um, this felt very like targeted, like, oh, okay, wow. I can really see how, you know, every single number and how um, the things that I do will like impact those numbers, you know? It's like definitely changed my perspective on even, yeah, like you said, business decisions, like what we decide to publish, like what kind of projects we want to green light. Um, it's impacted, it's definitely like shaped the way I think about what we prioritize from like a business, you know, even just from like a publishing angle, like purely just what are we gonna publish, you know, this year? What kind of projects are we gonna green light? So, um, that has impacted that. And then just like on a day-to-day -day workflow, like having it, it, it starts to prioritize like what to focus on for that day. Um, I like start every day by just like literally filling out like the camping compass. It's just like, okay, let's see like where we're at, you know? Um, and then I have a bunch of obviously to do things, but at least there's some priority in like how to tackle things. Um, whereas like before the like tactical maneuver hell, it was just like, I really felt like I was just a ping pong, just kind of bouncing from like one thing to another without any kind of sense of prioritization or importance because everything felt important because like nothing was working. <laughs> I think the calls are really great because there's just so many 
nuances to to some of the questions that I have. Um, and every time he's been so helpful, like, honestly, it's just, I kind of go in with like my head all over the place and thinking about like, oh, this is an issue. And then I'll talk to him and I'll be like, oh, that's not really an issue, you know, or, oh, I didn't think about tackling this problem in a way that he like suggested. And so um, the calls have been really, really helpful. It's been honestly like really, really positive feedback across the board. Um, and yeah, people are super excited about the books. They're like really excited to see more. Um, and so that's the thing that's really fun is just people discovering us and being like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're doing what you're doing. Or people reaching out and saying like, um, you know, how can I, how can I help you do, you know, uh, more of what you're already doing and how can we get more books um, um, like the ones you're publishing out and um, people sending us photos of like them reading their books with their kids and like grandparents reading with their kids like get messages all the time um, of people who are like oh I sent this to my you know my grandmother and like she's like reading it with or my mom and she's reading it with like my kids you know and it's so cool because she's like you know their the last book was about Korean food um, and she's like you know we never had this kind of stuff growing up like you know in the United States um, just about books about like Korean culture like this is just I've never seen anything like that um, I can't wait to share this with my nieces and nephew or um yeah, like feeling seen. A lot of people are just like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. And then people who just aren't necessarily Korean who like have bought the book. I'm so surprised how many people are not from, you know, that background and a Korean or Asian who have bought it and are like, oh my gosh, this is a great way to introduce my kids to like new cuisines. And oh, today, the um, you know, tonight we tried like, uh, you know, uh, we tried one of the dishes out of the book at a restaurant and like tomorrow I think we're going to try another thing at this at our local like Korean restaurant um so it's like it's so cool to see how people are like utilizing the book in their families um and how it's really like expanded little kids minds and you know um I'm read I read it with my own kids too and like my son was like the other day we ordered sundubu which is like that tofu stew and it's in the book mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, are we having Sunday I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's super cute. I think it can get very overwhelming. Um, and you have that on top of everything else that you're trying to manage and juggle, whether it's other aspects of your business or just life. And so it can feel like, uh, oh, I'm going to, you know, deal with it later because I have, you know, more urgent things that I have to attend to. But I think like definitely keep at it because it was, this has totally changed, you know, even though my business has only been around for like, I mean, even from that one year, it's like a complete 180 and it's a complete 180. And like my, like what we've talked about, like my, my mindset and how I approach work um, daily. So yeah, definitely like keep at it <laughs> and be patient with yourself, but um, like keep, keep like doing bits and pieces and, and where you can, but make it a priority. Like it's, it's, you know, it deserves that space and time in your life. So a hundred percent, totally worth it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you guys are, you I mean, what you have like created is more comprehensive and um, just smart, smarter than like anything I had honestly found and, and used and, I would a hundred percent like recommend <laughs> people. Yeah. Signing up for your course for sure. Thank you so much. I mean, I know you guys have put a lot of hard work and are always, you know, putting tons of work into, into supporting us. So I, I yeah, just really, really appreciate um, all the like assistance and handholding sometimes <laughs> <laughs> that's involved in this work. So, yeah. Oh, totally. Uh, we love it. So, um, but thank you. <laughs>